Now, the news do not stop there. Uh, just recently written up here on uh, MMA Newt, uh, Henry Suhudo takes aim at boxing champ Vasil Lomachenko and gets a response. So, I guess we're in the money era uh, of fights uh, in many ways. We... It all started with... Uh, with Connor and and uh, Floyd Mayweather, uh, obviously, uh, that was again a fight that sort of transcended MMA and probably combat sports in general. It, it just it became the biggest thing ever. Uh, I remember I had like friends and and people contacting me about it who like weren't really combat sports fans or anything like that. So. Uh, then, I mean, we're getting the super fights now in the UFC, champion versus champion. And, I mean, Henry Cejudo, he, he's also someone who, he's just, again, you can say what you will. He's doing a lot of stuff right. He may be the king of cringe. Uh, I'm not sure if I would agree that cringe is the new cool, uh, despite how much I'm sure he wants to, that stuff to get hashtagged. But... Uh, I mean, if you just look at his fights alone, there's no way you can dispute, dispute that uh, Sahu's doing something right. I mean, Demetrius Johnson, TJ Dillashaw, and then Marlon Moraes. Uh, he, he's looked great. Uh, he's just looked really great, aside from that first round against Marlon Moraes, which he lost very handily, and the first round against Demetrius Johnson. But, I mean, despite that, he's, he's looked fantastic. And the adjustments that he made between rounds one and two against Marlon Moraes were very telling of his fight IQ and the way he, he can adapt to different situations in fights. So he sets forth a challenge here to Vasil Lomachenko, who, if you're more on the MMA side of things, uh, Vasil Lomachenko, he is a Ukrainian boxer who, uh, you know, he looks like he's straight out of a Matrix sequel with the way that he moves. He's got fantastic movement, fantastic footwork. Uh, his counters are just beautiful to watch. I'm sure there's, there's uh, highlights on YouTube that you can check out, uh, which I highly, highly recommend. Uh, I spoke with um, Swedish world champion boxer Sven Fulming, who said that uh, like what Lomachenko is doing is like the, the future of boxing. He, and it, it, it's just a joy to watch, so highly recommend anything there. So Sihudo took to Twitter to write, Artem Lobov, 13 and 15 in, in MMA, former UFC fighter, wins by unanimous victory over Pauli Malignaggi, 13, uh, 36 and 8 in boxing, former boxing world champion. What do you think an Olympic and UFC champ champ would do to boxing's Vasil Lomachenko? Loma answers, here's an example of how it will be, showing uh, one of his uh, battered opponents. And Cejudo then responds with, We all know what happened the last time you fought a Mexican warrior whose hand got raised again? Question mark. And yeah, Mexican flag, because he is referring to uh, Orlando Salido, who is... Uh, Lomachenko's first and so far only loss. He lost by a split decision and uh, Salido is Mexican, so... Uh, do not expect anything to happen here, though. Uh, this is perhaps a good way for Suhuru to raise his stock, uh, become more of a mainstream household name, but I just, I, I can't see any scenario where these two ever fight. Uh, as of right now, Suhuru's got way too many obligations in the UFC. Uh, not only does he have two titles to defend, but he will be away on injury um, or, or on recovery as he had a shoulder injury, which was recently operated and he's expected to be out, uh, I think it was four to five months before he can actually properly train again. So we can't really expect to see Cejudo back in the octagon in 2019, meaning that there's gonna be a pretty long line of people waiting to challenge for both the flyweight and the bantamweight titles. Uh, 